I'm here in a Buddhist temple in the mountains of Japan, and I want to show you something interesting in the graveyard. This uh, village has about uh, a dozen houses, less than that now, but originally about a dozen, and these are the graves for the families. This is the Mori family here, and you can see that they have uh, their tombstones, they're in this little plot here. And then the names of uh, all the people who are interred here. Each of those columns represents a single individual. And they're arranged by uh, in chronological order. This particular family goes way, way back into the Edo period. So this, this name, this list is very long. Very old family. And there are other families here as well. Each of these plots represents the families uh, in one family in this village. But what I want to show you is a special type of grave. Now, this particular grave is typical. This is the family type of grave, and you can see that these graves have the same type of shape, the uh, column type of a shape, with the uh, smooth sides and, a, and almost a polished appearance, very nice. Now, that's what you see typically in Japan in cemeteries for families. But there's another type of uh, a gravestone that you can find. If you are, are in the temple and you look closely, you'll find these. They're usually somewhere in the temple. Here they are. Now you can probably see right away what's different about these grave markers compared to the uh, graves that we just looked at. Let's take a look at all of them. This one's different. So we basically have a little plot here in the corner of special rounded gravestones versus the so the um, columns here, or not the columns, but the uh, large um, four-sided uh, pillars. And the difference is that was these are for families, these graves are for the priests. That's right. These are for the priests that are interred here, the priests of the temple. Now you might want to think, well, maybe the rounded uh, top is symbolic of the uh, shaved round head of a priest. I don't know if that's the sim if that's the reason, but I like to think of it that way. So within the set uh, graveyard of a, a temple cemetery, you'll typically find family gravestones as well as the gravestones of the interred priests. Very interesting contrast. Wow. Thanks for dropping by to have a look.